This is David Hofmeister's Unwind Your Mind Back to God, read by Tarana Singh. In today's episode, we continue unlearning the world with Book 2. In Chapter 6, this is Section 3. You cannot mess it up. Hi, David. I am pondering over how much is script and how much is not. I love it because if I could live it to its last consequences, it would leave no place for guilt and blame on myself or others. But I can also see the danger. I could use it to excuse myself from doing all kinds of nasty things. What about the decisions for which I let purpose be my guide? Are those decisions also part of the script? Or do we decide them? And if so, how do we do this? Why is one seeker of truth and another not? Is even the decision to be guided by the Holy Spirit scripted? Is whether I will listen to his answer or not scripted? But if all is the script, where does willingness come in? I have heard you mention the concept that the script is written. And then I watch a movie like What the Bleep Do We Know? Wherein the main message seems to be that I can change the dream Reality, illusion, as I wish. Can I only change if the script allows it? Are the wanting to change it and the actual changing it also just the script? I fear to screw it up somehow. Maybe I should just ask you, can I do whatever I most like to do without endangering my awakening? Would enlightenment still happen? in its scripted moment? Beloved one, I am happy to hear from you. The entire time-space cosmos is scripted and is the past. It is impossible to change the past, though it is inevitable that the cosmos be forgiven. The only choice to make is the purpose you give to the script and the way you look upon it. The script is one and cannot be broken into the doer and the one who is done to. It is a script that is over and done and impossible to analyze. If you allow the mind permission to relax and enjoy the watching, peace of mind is inevitable. Purpose is a decision of mind and as such is not in the script. You might think of purpose as a higher order decision a meaningful decision. Whereas decisions between illusory forms have no relevance in reality. All of life is an opportunity to practice discernment and choose to align with the Holy Spirit's purpose. It is therefore not so important what you do as it is important to be clear of your intention or motive. And this comes back to purpose. The choice for the Holy Spirit is truly unavoidable. So be vigilant in watching your mind and harboring no scrap of judgment then you will experience how simple 
and easy salvation is. For love asks for nothing except to be itself and to extend. Relax and enjoy the show and allow your mind to restfully watch. That is always good enough for the might of the Holy Spirit is joined with our mind. You cannot mess it up for the Holy Spirit is in charge. There is no burden in trusting the Holy Spirit. All the mind is left with is a feeling of lightness and divine ease.